Alright, and we are back to check in on Paprika Spice of the Spice Family Legacy here in Virtual Families 2. And she's got a promotion! Yes! Nothing succeeds like success. I don't even know who Alexandre Dumas is, but maybe I'll look that up in the future. Oh my gosh, and look at the hair the maid has! <gasps> I am so- whoops, I opened up the-, the oh, dang it, there we go. Alright, I keep opening up the collection box sometimes. It's kind of hilarious. I want that maid's hair! That is so cool! Maybe we'll end up with one of our heirs who will be completely obsessed with having a spouse that has really, really awesome hair instead of really awesome fashion. Paprika is definitely- oh, she's a bit sick! What the heck? Okay, let's give her some multivitamins. And then, let's see, can I cure her of anything else or happy- her energy is like completely tanked. Completely- oh, she has hiccups! Okay, let's go ahead and drag her over to get a drink. I know how to cure hiccups now. It's not cured by picking up our little ones, our tiny little virtual people sea monkeys, and like shaking them violently like I thought. <laughs> it is cured by a fresh glass of water, so Paprika is snagging that. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and see what this latest marriage offer is all about. So let's drag her over here. I want that maid's hair so bad. I wish there was a salon option so you could change their hair. And let's see if this is a possible marriage offer. Oh my gosh, it literally looks like her grandpa. <laughs> that looks like Basil, like a hundred percent looks like Basil and his name is Glitch. Oh my goodness. I don't know. He looks a lot like her grandpa. We shouldn't be super picky. He repairs phones, but he has a really boring outfit. I think that we're gonna go ahead and just like casually be like, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. It's just like, you look like my grandpa and like you could be his clone. So I think that Paprika is not gonna be into- okay, oh, but there's another one coming in! <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, let's see if this is a new marriage offer. No, Best Landscape Award, yes! We are pleased to inform you that your yard has been selected for the honor of the most attractive landscape in the community this month. Please accept your award of 10 coins. We'd just love to see our neighbors working hard to make our community beautiful. Congratulations from Hetty Community Aesthetics Board. Very cool. All right, and there's a little walnut I want to snag really quickly, which is going to give us more money to sell. And then I'm going to let Paprika rest for a second. I'm being really picky about her husband. Oh, there's another little nut over here. Okay, sorry, Paprika. Oh. And let's snag you and put you down. Oh, it's a new item. I knew that nut looked different. Dun, dun, dun. But I'm being super duper picky about uh, trying to... <laughs> trying to get her a spouse because I just feel like she needs to marry somebody who really matches her. I think the first guy with the afro we definitely should have gone for. That's a regret Paprika actually now has in her life of being too picky early on, wanting everything in a potential mate, awesome clothes, cool name, awesome job, maybe a bit of money in the bank, alignment of interest, and now she's learning that she, she shouldn't have turned down his love. Definitely couldn't marry our grandpa clone though, that's just a little bit awkward. And the other guy was kind of boring. So she's very picky, but I think we'll probably end up marrying the next person, most likely. I hope we get a marriage offer pretty soon, though. All right, there you go, Paprika. You go ahead and get some sleep. She was about to send me an email. Gosh darn it, I interrupted her like three times with that already. So we're gonna let her rest. Uh, there's the puppy on the sofa, that's so cute. And if she hits like 30 and we still haven't managed to find her a husband and start having kids, we may actually adopt a kid, but I think we'd say that it's her niece or nephew, maybe Ginger's child, like one of Ginger's kids for instance, who wants to go to a really good school in the area. So we could say that it's like a niece or nephew instead of actually her kid. So we may do that for sure. And I think Paprika wants to get rid of some of the stuff. Like we might we might turn one of these rooms into a storage room. Probably like this room actually, because Paprika is totally into fashion. So we would move all of the laundry stuff to a different room and we'll turn this into a storage room. That would be pretty cool. And I guess Paprika's legacy on the family could be leaving a dresser in like every room. That totally seems like her. 
because you never know, you need to have a nice wardrobe for everything. So let's see if there's anything interesting in the store. Maybe something I can give her. There's a virtuoso perfume for women. Uh, ooh, licorice candy, which I think she likes. And we can grab some more multivitamins. And we'll go ahead and if I can, I'll buy that perfume just to have it on hand in case of romance. And then let's check what's on sale right now. Still the same stuff as yesterday. So we'll go ahead and just leave that be for now. Anything cool? Oh, there's so many outfits. I wish I could like put the outfits up, but dang. Yeah, it doesn't, th is this like a, a little midriff? Oh my goodness. So I don't think I see anything that I would say totally, totally fits Paprika. The designer outfits probably, <gasps> that'll probably be her thing too. All of her family members are gonna be wearing a designer clothes. Thank you very much. So we will dress her whole family in designer clothes when the time comes. But she's completely exhausted for now and we've just got all this clutter left behind inside of our, our inventory and she still wants to do a whole bunch of renovations and changes to the house. How high up has she gone? Let's see. Oh, she's already ranked three. Nice. On being a really fancy dress designer. I think she'll only wear dresses. Uh, that'll be another one of her things. And the animals are starting to gather around so that they can sit on top of the bed while she rests. But we'll go ahead and let her rest and look at all the beds. Oh my gosh, and the cat just like lays right on top of her. That's awesome. But we'll go ahead and let her rest for now. And then we will start uh, searching for a husband. Hopefully next time. I think she's running out of time to be picky. And at the very least, she's going to end up with a niece or nephew from Ginger's family who will come here so that they can go to a good school. Maybe we'll do that even if she does end up having kids of her own. But all right, let's let her rest and we'll come back in a little bit. All right, and here we go, you guys. We are back with Paprika, and she has gotten another promotion. Yay! I'm so proud of her. She is completely exhausted, though, and she has hit the big 3-0, which I'm actually going to turn 30, like, next year, too, and I'm not that anxious about it, so just FYI. I think that Paprika, however, is ready to be able to find her soulmate, or at least somebody with a half-decent fashion sense that she can share this fantastic home with. I also think she might want another pet. Maybe we'll get her another pet today. But she's doing a little dance and she's totally happy about having uh, gone up in her dressmaking career. 408 that's not a bad salary. Not a bad salary at all for somebody who's just at level four. I think they can go up to level eight or nine of their career. So we're going to give Paprika some space so that she can hopefully uh, rise a little bit higher. But let's see if this is finally a marriage offer. I think no matter what. Oh my goodness. Frankie. A jewelry smelter. <gasps> okay. I think think that that might actually win her over and I think she might be looking at Frankie's fashion sense in utter horror but maybe the idea that he could have some cool jewels to go with her dresses that she makes could win her over so I think we're gonna do it and he likes reading too so maybe there's something about Frankie's personality I still feel like the afro guy would have been perfect for her but maybe there's something about Frankie that just really would suit Paprika uh, however the name Frankie definitely would not suit Paprika now that I think of it. So let me pull up the list of herbs, plants, and other name suggestions that you guys have left in our amazing comment section. You can always leave more too. I write it down in my, my little uh, tablet and keep a big old list. What should we name this guy? Hmm, maybe Tamarind? You know what? I'm going to name him Tamarind because that sounds like it's kind of cool and exotic and maybe it'll it'll give him a little bit more personality, uh, personality. but a jewelry smelter. So let's go ahead and marry him. There we go. And he's 31. I think he turned 31 while we were waiting to choose his name. Announcing the marriage of Paprika and Tamarind. A life without love, without the presence of the beloved, is nothing but a mere magic lantern show. We draw out slide after slide, swiftly tiring of each and pushing it back to make haste for the next. Oh, from uh, uh, Joanne, John, yeah, hmm, John Wolfgang von Gogh. And I have not he really heard that quote either. Is that another marriage offer coming in like right after the next? But that's fantastic. Congratulations, you two. Let me actually go ahead and try it here. I'm going to give her some multivitamins, I guess. Try to make a little room. Uh, and she's on her way to send an email to me. And Tamarin's going to celebrate the marriage. But I think the first thing that... Um 
um, our wonderful Paprika here is going to want to do is get her new husband in some new clothes. Him being a jewelry designer was a cool enough job for her to go, okay, so he only has like, maybe not very good fashion, but he's got a pretty good job. Let's see, two Siri from Paprika. We need different kinds of groceries if that's okay. Our wedding was lots of fun. I'm so in love. Oh yay, so Paprika is happy. Oh. And let's go ahead and check what the heck the email is. It'd be kind of funny if she got another marriage offer. Uh, <laughs> weather machine. Dear neighbor, I've been building a weather machine. Is it working from your neighbor? Uh, I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and let Paprika celebrate her marriage now. Whoops, I didn't mean to try to, like, have a child just yet, but I guess those two are off and running. Alrighty then. Well, I'll just leave those guys there because I interrupted her before she could make the wedding cake. And we're going to actually look and see if we can get him some new clothes, like some designer clothes. Okay, that looks kind of weird, though. We need to get him some new designer outfits, uh, like ASAP, because I really feel like that's what Paprika wants, but there's nothing that we can really put him in. There's like an Aloha shirt. I don't know if she would go for this one. I mean, maybe it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead and buy it. Oh, the weather machine. What? It made a snowy, it made a very, very snowy wedding day. This is hilarious. And the maid's going around tidying up. Oh my goodness. And I wonder if being a jewelry maker means that he'll actually do a lot of work down inside of the workroom. So maybe we should upgrade it. But uh, I guess we'll go ahead and see if there's going to be a baby involved in just a second here. I guess Paprika decided that she was a little envious that her sister Ginger has already started a family and she wanted to get on that too. We also need to clean up all of the weeds that are around the place. I'm still tempted to have one of her like nieces or nephews come. What? That like took no time at all. Hello. <laughs> so now we've got roses, a snowy wedding day. We're going to, wait, is this a discount store Mel outfit? No, we were supposed to have a fancy Mel outfit. Okay, that's better than nothing. That actually fits Tamarind pretty well. So we've got new outfits. We've got a new baby. Paprika has just given birth to a baby. Holy days, a lot happened today. I'm actually pretty darn amazed. So uh, I guess we need to figure out what Tamarind would like to do now. He likes reading. And he has a child. He and Paprika have a kid, which is pretty darn cool. And uh, I think he has the potential to make tons and tons of money. So let's actually drag him down here. And fixing the computers. Okay, apparently the computers are broken. So he has to fix those before we can do anything. Uh, and they still have some food, but there we go, guys. So congratulations, Paprika. I feel like she was uh, definitely attracted to Tamarin's job, but we'll have to see how they interact with one another and if there's going to be a deeper relationship within their marriage or not. And I mean, he's already proving himself pretty useful coming over and fixing the computer. But you know what? Before we go, there's a couple things I want to do. I want to get him some new pets and I think I can actually... <gasps> Chihuahua! Oh my gosh, that's so cute! And a fluffy gray cat? Okay, I think that Tamrin came into this family with his fluffy gray cat, and I think that we actually, I actually want to get uh, another snow white cat. And I'm getting two cats. I think these are very much cat people, whereas Coriander was very much a dog person. This fluffy white cat is uh, Paprika's cat that she got before she met Tamarind. And this is the lovely gray and white cat that Tamarind has brought into the family. So we're gonna have pets absolutely all over the place. It's kind of awesome. We'll just have to let them scurry about and uh, do what's what. And then let's see if we can get Paprika to get some sleep. There we go. Get some sleep with her new baby. And then when we come back, maybe we will actually adopt uh, one of Paprika's nieces or nephews, but we're not like adopting, adopting. We would just say that they come to live with us so they can go to school here. Cause I think that'd be a good little twist and help us to grow our family a wee bit. Uh, Cause I don't know how many babies Paprika actually wants. I think that maybe she was spurred into having a child mostly out of jealousy that Ginger already has a big family. So we'll have to see. I love watching where these little families go and I think it's very romantic that they had a snowy wedding day. And I will see you guys for more of these Spice Family adventures next time. Bye bye